They definitely remind me of Crimson Heads quite a lot. It's just their speed is insane. Oh, that was cheating. That's two shots that should have hit. That's fine. This is why we have all these bullets. We've been hoarding them for most of the game. And for bloody good reason, let me tell you. Oof. That was close. Yeah, if you could start stumbling, please. Yeah, see how many shots he took. Pretty much took an entire magazine. I know we did miss a couple there. But when we killed the other one, we shot him with two shotgun shells. And he still took about an entire magazine. Redonkulously strong. But after all the uh, relatively weak enemies that we've had, it does make a little bit of a nice change of pace that we've got something that puts up a little bit of a fight. Or at least... Well, actually, no. He did put up quite a fight, didn't he, really? All right, so... We have a small bandage. Looks like somebody who was very ill was staying here. Yeah, doesn't it just? And we have some more ointment as well, which we are going to leave. I'm going to leave all of these things. I think that's all we had. And we are going to continue our rampage through the garden now. Let's go. Is it this one? Let's go through here first and see what we can find. I can't remember which is the correct way, but as we need to explore everywhere. Oh. We've got a zombie, and we've got what I can only really describe as a leaper as well. Let's see if we can't fuck him up a little bit with a handgun. Handgun is more effective than I thought. Or maybe not. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? This time, without dying, if that's even possible. Looks like this guy doesn't realise we're here, though. Which works for us. Yeah, the enemies are crazy inconsistent in this game. Like so. Sometimes they can, like, sense as soon as you enter the map. Other times, well, they're just kind of away with the fairies. And we like it when they're away with the fairies. Got another one coming through there. We are getting a little bit low on the old handgun ammo, though. So we could use a couple of those nice <laughs> little criticals. Oh, we've got a lady coming through. You know, some of the lighting in this game is quite impressive. It really is. But sadly, I don't think it's worth the performance. And if these guys do come out with another game, I really hope they get some experts that are a little bit more performant with optimizing Unreal Engine. But hey, who we shall see. So, this one... This is the door that requires the handle that we found oh so long ago. More shotgun shells. We'll take those. Oh, forgot about you. Two shells. That's enough for him. The amount of damage they take is rather inconsistent as well. Sometimes they'll take two shots and other times they'll take, um, you know, three four it's rare but it does happen so gardener note last night was my first experience with one of their rituals and i must say it was an intense and harrowing experience i do not know if what i experienced was hallucination or reality but some hours after ingesting that foul brew he has his minions brew for him i began to feel very sick delirious I saw several of the cult members turn into unspeakable abominations like ravenous cannibals who lost all sense of humanity. 
It was horrifying watching them turn into ravenous humanoid animals. I'm not sure if my brew was different from the rest, for my symptoms have been stranger than theirs. I cannot stop vomiting. I ended up making a mess all over the courtyard. I'll clean it up eventually. I spent all day watering and manicuring the plants whilst taking turns vomiting strange-looking spew into the yard outside, hoping that nobody will bother me, or that I don't see those unfortunate initiates, initi initiate, initiates there we go, who drank this foul brew. As a precautionary measure against this, I've locked the gate with a special key the master has made for me. The master speaks of portals and other worlds, and that this gate will hold the beasts back as long as it is not touched by the wrong hands. Now, I mention it. I also remember him saying something about the time is nigh for our domination. The architect will soon be building us a new future. I still don't understand all this magic stuff, all these gods he claims to commune with, but I'll take his word for it. If anyone reads this, I'll be taking the day off to rest. I feel... I feel... something. Well, I guess he became one of those spewing zombies that we've been putting to bed. No matter. I've got 20 shotgun shells. Not too many handgun bullets, sadly. Our handgun stocks have absolutely been ruined, hollowed out, if you will. Ah, coffee. The best liquid known to man. Now, let's have a little look in here, shall we? Have some more bandages. We're finding more bandages than anything else, honestly. We've got so much health at this point, it's kind of redonkulous. I wish we had more save discs, though. Definitely like to see a few more of those. Right, well, down here we, ha Ooh, we have some more shotgun shells. 22 now. Well, actually, technically 27. Come on, then. That was nice and painless for us. For once. Give me your soul. Although, technically, they're not the beast's soul, are they? They are souls of the creatures that the beasts have eaten. We've got, like, nearly... 1500 of them now not entirely sure what we use them for uh, it does appear that one of the main re uh, uses for them was patched out now there is a key that re will require a hundred thousand souls I thought it was ten thousand but it's a hundred thousand souls and I haven't been able to find anywhere that explains what they do. Well, the shotgun is definitely the way to deal with those guys. That's for sure. So we've got a couple of fatties here. Lead diet for you. And a lead diet for you. There we go. Oh, we've got some more out here. Let's grab that. Oh, lovely. Precious handgun bullets. Do very much like my handgun in this game. Do you almost feel naked without it. Because it's your go to. Okay, locked and loaded. Got a standard Z through here. Couple of rounds. Knock him off his little perch. Looks like we've got a bloater. Just through there. Hello. Let's see if we can't make him disappear into a... Yeah, you get. And again, into a cloud of green goo. Lovely. Uh, there's a crawling guy. Well, we're not going to worry about him too much. Nothing here but a tree. Um, kind of don't want to kill this guy. Ammo stocks are getting somewhat depleted now. What have we got over here? This looks useful. Oh, bowgun bolts. 
We'll have those. At least have the ability to pick them up. We can't go through here yet. The sign on the door says, Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. The door is locked. The chosen one must complete the odyssey before his path will be unlocked. Okay. Noted. So we're going to be heading back there at some point in the future. But not today. Right, we haven't checked this little area out just yet. Hopefully there's some nice little goodies in here for us. Got some more bandages. The game seems to have gone the other way. It stopped giving us copious amounts of bullets and is now giving us uh, a whole litany of healing items, which is nice, don't get me wrong, we like healing items, but you know, we need ammo as well. More, more ointment. We like the ointment as well. Oh god, look at the performance there. 38, 38 frames a second. What is going on? That is very pretty though. Oh, hello. Big boy. Down to 25 bullets. This is not great, to be honest. But we're going to have to make do. We might have to start... Oh, that's stuff we've dropped. We might have to start running from enemies. We don't like doing such things. Ooh. 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 Wow, that was a big one. That was 18 rounds. I've never seen one that big before. Oh, shotgun shells. 30 shotgun shells now. Very nice. Strange phenomenon note. Me and a few of the initi initiates are growing concerned with how much time the master is spending with the brat. The brat. He's been neglecting our meetings to see about improvements on the grounds, as well as his normal role of supervising the process of making the brew. We've also noticed a strange phenomenon. The boy has started appearing randomly throughout the mansion. One moment I was alone in the library, cleaning and dusting my shelves, sure that I was alone. The next moment the boy was standing behind me, the air behind him rippling for just a moment before dissipating. Several people have reported this. I know the master has been practicing his magic spells, building up his strength for when the eclipse, the special night comes. Is he using that brat as some sort of guinea pig? Maybe? Hmm. We don't know. We don't even know who that brat is, unless I've missed something somewhere. But I'm sure... It's locked from the inside, but I'm sure we're going to find out. Right, well... Evening. Pleasure to meet you on such a calm and wonderful night. Oh, okay. We've got one of those guys. That's fine. We can handle that. One, two, two shells. What are these things? Like, completely coated in boils. Oh, well, no time for tears. That one was unusually active. Very strange. So what have we got here? More ointment, really. And more bandages. I think the game is trying to tell us something, guys. I can't imagine what, though. Okay, so... Oh, it's a safe desk as well. We'll take you, and we're going to refill our water, and let's go harvest up all of our stuff, and take this opportunity to save, because we're 25 minutes in. We've done a decent amount of progress, and uh, we keep dying, which is less than great. Yeah, so key to the unknown, special item, 100,000. 
14% of the way there. So we've got a medium bandage, ointment, record, more ointment, medium, bow gun, medium, ointment, ointment, small bandage. Wow. Jeez Louise, big puffer cheese. We have so much. Cool. So let's dump all of this stuff back. Now, we're going to use that. We might as well keep that on us. I really do wish there was a way of sorting the inventory. I might do that off camera. Because this is bothering me more than it probably should, to be honest. Right, so we are going to want the shotgun. And the handgun. kind of want the knife as well, to be honest. But... That doesn't leave us with a lot of uh, empty slots to play with. We. Ooh, hello. Evening. What a wonderful night to be alive. We need to be going up. And uh, we need to cross the roof. Now up here, this place is pretty dangerous actually. There is a hell of a lot of enemies. Now what I want to do, although I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, I kind of want to take this guy on with a knife if we can. Because we have... Lots and lots of health. What we don't have... Oh, see that? See that? That was bollocks. Yeah, we have lots and lots and lots of health, but what we don't have is a lot of ammo. And our ammo supplies are going to be dwindling pretty, pretty quickly here. All right, we've got a big fat zombie up there. He needs to die. Needs to die pretty quickly. We've got ourselves another one of Napoleon's finest. These bloody frogmen are really nasty. Now I hear you. Hey, Titan, why don't you just use the shotgun? <laughs> well, sweet child, we're going to need that. We're going to need our shotgun soon. And uh, let me tell you, every shell counts. So... The pistol is a little bit more expendable. And we are s getting some pretty lucky hits here, actually. Okay. I'll take it. Now, we've got some more pistol ammo here, I believe. Yeah, we've got two rounds left. Oh, my God. That was low. That was seven. Seven bullets. Oof. I don't think I've seen a pick up that low before actually yeah you can see how many of these frog guys are actually here there is a few man we may actually have to bust out the shotgun here just because of how unlucky we've been with that ammo drop he's dead we've got just about a magazine left actually you know I was going to say I'm wondering if it's worth sparing that guy but trouble is, he's only going to be a problem later if we do. But then, I suppose, if he's a problem for later, he's a problem for later. Yeah, you know what? Screw that guy. We need bullets. Although, I say that. But now he is going to be a problem. Let's get rid of him. I don't like leaving enemies because you know when you're on the back foot and you're trying to escape, he's only going to be chewing on our ear. Alright, nice. Not bad. Save disc? Don't mind if I do. Looks like we've got a Z down there. There's a few zombies down here that we're going to have to deal with sooner rather than later. That's fine. Okay, so that was the adventure through the roof, and, you know, I enjoyed that. 
a little bit more action heavy this part of the game and uh, I like it it's a nice refreshing change of pace Ooh. well I say that there has actually been quite a lot of action in this game to be fair right let's try and remove his head the shotgun in this game is way better than it has any right to be if I'm being honest it really does feel quite nice no, it's not the shotgun from Resident Evil 2. But it's pretty solid, in all fairness. Alright, let's scope this little place out. We've got some nice supplies in here. Oof, six rounds left in the handgun. That is not a happy... Ooh, got a big guy out there. That is not a happy place to be. Six rounds. Six rounds. 